Hello guys, greetings from Germany. As you all know, my name is Spencer. I got a message. She called someone called me and told me he wanted to seek asylum in Germany. He wants to seek asylum in Germany. And if it's best. Yeah, so I'm doing this video because of that. Think about five people have asked me this question. And since I'm a reference. I'm somebody who have already seek asylum in Germany. So first I want to take you to places where most of the black people in Germany, especially Africans, live. They live in here for years, number of years, five years, six years, seven years, ten years. They are still living there. You know, sometimes when you call people from Africa and maybe you call them and they position their video only in just one corner so you're not gonna see every part of the house but yeah i'm taking you to where they stay where we stay here and i also live here you know this is a village and in just one village we have a lot of these places a lot in just a village you find like five six camps hello brother what's up so hello you can see them these ones are they are they are living there with bags of raccoons i don't know where they're going to it so arabs so they are mixed blacks and arabs uh so sorry it's a little bit cold yeah so i'm gonna go there to show you how these places look like and if you think you can bear it then it's okay for you if you cannot bear it because i just told you in a recent video or in one of my videos i did i told you guys that when you seek asylum you will be placed in a camp it's just like a prison first then when you got transfer like they call it living home the place i'm taking you now is a living home it's living home you got a room you got the room and in the room um i think six people share toilet six people share one toilet and bathroom so it's called a living home six people share one toilet and bathroom a lot of black people are living there in one in just one village you find about six of these places so they're all over in germany all over so i'm taking you guys there now i'm walking there this is small village which i visited so i'll be taking you guys so you know some guys will not like the fact that i go there with the camera they won't like it so i will just have to do it in a way that you guys can see but i must show it to you guys so that you can understand what you're putting yourself into when you're coming to germany to seek asylum germany is it's a place if you really want to study you know if you want to study yeah but you know bureaucracy wise they are very slow a lot of people are living here 20 years 25 years but um many people are not living their dreams uh, it's like we are, it's like we are still surviving you know no matter how long we've lived here but it's like we are all surviving just still surviving and it's not only limited to us africans black people it's also limited to everyone staying in the countries germans arabs all the other countries it's not just limited to one um race it's not a race thing it's the entire system it's the entire system so guys by the way i've missed you guys yeah, you know, it's walking. It's not quite easy here. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. I'll never do something like that in my life again, seeking asylum. It slow you down, makes you to lose your potential. To the truth about asylum is if you really have a problem, a truthful problem, there's no reason to seek asylum if you don't have any problem. For someone who who has something in the background or somebody who have studied or has a vision uh, to pursue, has a vision, want to do something in their life, I, I won't encourage you to won't encourage you to seek asylum. It's just it's a process that is gonna take you so many years to, to stop. It's just gonna slow you down. At the first instance, you think, no, they're gonna accept me. When they accept me, they're gonna give my document, but you just don't know what you're putting yourself into. Yeah, uh, it's a thing that will slow you down a lot. At least not in Germany. Not in Germany. The bureaucracy here is too long. There are studies which you do outside, like we call it here house building, training. In other countries, you do them few months, few weeks, you're done. But yeah, it's three years and a half. But before then, you have to do language course and stuff like that. Hello, brother. So it's like that. You can see, they're all from there. All, you guys are, all these guys are also from there. They're also staying in the place. So I'm going to turn my video now to look in front so you guys can see. Yeah. So this is the front video now. I turn my video because we are entering the place. So I want you to see how the view is. I don't even know if I'm allowed to shoot a video here, but... Yeah. You can see. I'm not gonna try to hide it a lot a little bit because these guys get very angry when they know you are showing them in a video. They don't want you. Okay, right now the door is open. Well, I'll show you. And I'm also gonna show you this is it's like a container. Where everyone's living. So, oh my god, it's like a container. You can see one. There's another one up there. There's another one behind. So, you're gonna see. So, just take you inside so you can see. Only, as I said, these guys are very angry. How are you? you? Guys are very angry when you're shooting a video. Hello. 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 Yes like the washing room washing machine where they wash their dresses beside the rooms so each and everyone's rooms oh my god so <laughs> okay 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 it's on life, the cool. No, so. <laughs> so, it's on life, Mr. So. Bro, what's up? You're cooking. No, don't worry, don't worry. I'm cutting. No, no, don't record. No, I'm not I'm cutting. 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 i am is it toilet? Is it toilet? You see, it's very dirty. See. Ok, 
kitchen. So this is their kitchen. It's kind of nasty. This is their storeroom. This is another section. The other sections toilet. This is the dry, this is their drying room where they wash their dresses and dry them. Outside, man, and they're not gonna like this if they see it. So, this is another building, you can see this is, this is another building, and that's another one up there. That's another one. So in total, I think we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. I think six of these. They're not gonna like this if they see this. So some of them walk, some of them don't. So normally these are their bicycles where they used to walk. So in places like this, we we'll have about, you see these places, there are about, just in this small village, there are about six of these. And in the next village, the same thing, in the next village, the same thing. I know Germany is full of villages. So there are cars. Germany is full of villages. So, and... Um, for example, if they send letters, they receive the letter in an office up there, over there. So these are the social workers' cars. So this is not an asylum. This is what they call Heim. Like this is already when they have transferred you from the asylum camp. This is like a living, a living house. This is like a living house. So you can see a walker up, over there. I don't know if you can see cleaning. These are the social workers' cars. This one see here, the social workers' cars. This is a social working office, social workers' office there. And it's a building up there. Yeah, so it's like they just come into a forest, then create this thing open this thing create it then okay so i'm gonna stop the video now before i continue because i think this is a social working office social workers office so i'm gonna stop before I continue if not i think they're gonna come for me and be asking ask me to delete because i've already had one problem before one person who asked me to delete okay now i have to stop so guys, you've watched the video. That's where most of our brothers and sisters are living. Like I said, in one village, you find <laughs> in one village you find those places about six, seven. You find them all over. You find them all over in Germany. In every village, in every village you will find them. So yeah i think the government is using that program to sustain people who doesn't have houses because uh, there are not so many houses i know there are over 80 million people in this country and there are not so many houses available so the government is trying to uh, use the program to sustain a lot of people who doesn't have houses um yeah 
and you know to have a house in this country it's not an apartment it's not also easy you must really have a good job you know do something very it's not easy to for them for germans to trust you and give you the apartments so for immigrants who just come uh, these are the places you find them always especially africans brothers and sisters then the thing again about the thing again is that there are also places that are cleaner yeah like the one i took you for it was it was dirty and there are places that are worse than that like where i'm standing is another place where i'm just sitting talking to you you can see they have a food a, a place for football or doing their stuff uh, this is also good it's clean this is very clean but um the guys inside the social worker inside doesn't want me to take a camera inside so i'm not gonna go inside but you can see the place is good it's it looks good yeah so not every place is dirty not every place you find dirt yeah uh, there are some places very good and there are some places very worst so this is the thing you're gonna put yourself the thing is you will not even know where they're gonna send you they might send you to a dirty place they might send you to a cleaner place so you don't know it's not on you to decide it's for them to decide so it's like no they're deciding for you yeah because you are seeking asylum of course so uh, if what i'm trying to say is if you really don't have a reason to seek asylum i don't see the need going for it because sometimes you just see asylum you don't know how many the process going through this thing you don't know how many years you're gonna spend with this asylum thing you might spend like, there are a lot of people here spending up to eight nine years with asylums problem problem there's a lot of problem with asylum the thing is you don't know you just don't know but the asylum process has a lot of problems and um it, yeah you might be working you might not be working you know you will need permission before doing anything anything you need permission before going anywhere before doing anything so there is a lot of you need to enter into the country understand the process before you regret so for example you seek asylum they will send you to a place that place i just showed you before it's called living home like it's your home it's where you're gonna stay you stay there until you find a place where you can go and leave you know pay an apartment and the place is not like it's 330 euros 330 euros each of those rooms you see there and six people sharing toilets every six um rooms share the same toilet so it's not really easy it's not easy so for those who are working they pay for their houses for those who are not working there is a thing called job center the government the government pays the houses for you and give you uh, probably like 300 400 euros for you to eat a month yeah so that when you start working you're gonna pay for those who are coming those who are new too that's that's how they that's the process that's the thing so um but i wouldn't i will not encourage asylum seeking if you don't really have a serious problem because it is it has a lot of problems that you have to encounter yeah you might spend six years i don't think that you might think that oh i know somebody who asylum was accepted it doesn't mean that the person is free from the problem german problems no you are not free like you have a german you have the passport it's not a german passport secondly let me even tell you they accept your asylum and they give you that passport it's not a german passport it's just a normal asylum passport you can go anywhere you can't go to your country you can't do shit. You can't do things that you must be very careful when you're doing your things because the government eyes is on you. You have to be very, you must always be watching your back as if someone is following you, you know. So this is the thing. Uh, asylum is uh, if you have another option. But there are also things to do to come out of the asylum process. For example, if you come into this country, you take a course for three and a half years, then um, you work again for two years they, and fine when you take a course for three and a half years after the course they're gonna give you i think one year resident permit then you work for two years you apply now for permanent resident permit so in total five to six years if you are very serious you can have your permanent resident permit and get out of it so that's the thing but if you 
are not lucky to have a course or, or because also you have to also do language course before doing the, the normal course so it's going to take you probably eight years yeah before you applying for permanent resident permit but there are also some cases if you are married to a german a german spouse and so you're just gonna spend like three years and you apply for a passport or if you have a child with a german spouse or a, a, dream, a german girl or someone who has already a passport then you also spend just three years to apply for permanent resident permit that case is permanent resident permit after three years you're going to apply so that's the thing but when you are asylum seeker and are not into any program you are just seeking asylum then you are here to work and pay taxes uh you just need to do a program or do something to get out of it it's not it's a really hectic something it's a really um, don't forget when you seek asylum you are treated as you though they have laws to protect asylum seekers but you, you are a criminal you're not just a criminal so it's a it's a thing you have to think before doing so guys i'm gonna let you here now i'm gonna finish the video but you know not all black people you, you see seek asylum there are some i'm yet to meet that are okay are doing okay yeah i also wish that a lot of black people here yeah, are doing something great i wish i wish to see a lot of black people in offices doing something great as well so thank you very much in the next video i will try to talk to people and ask their experience how they are living in germany because i have been living in germany uh, for quite some time also i travel a lot as well but I know how the system works, it's not easy. <laughs>